One of the first things that we said when we meet with a team, our, our staff, our ministry staff, is that it's about people, it's about people, and it's about people. And we need to make everything that we do to connect with people as best we can. And rather than look at what we can't do, what can we do? So today we've been doing a lot of food relief. So charities come to us to get frozen meals, to get fresh meat, lots of groceries that you can see around you, and then lots of fruit and vegetables as well. So we basically took the four charities, which is Arana, Hopefield, One Meal and Us, and we put all our networks and resources together so that we could then help not only our clients, but help other charities and schools in the area to help their clients. It's the community doing it for the community. And then the people that come and get it realise it's coming as a donation from someone else. And that's a feel good thing, you know, because people care enough to help each other. So everything you see here has been donated. We haven't bought anything, including the fridges. <laughs> so, and the cool room. One of the things that we've seen just over and over again is that people that haven't been supported before actually are coming to the Salvos and also other organisations for help. And so together, we're sort of working together to help as many people as we can. And we're probably helping more people than we've ever helped before, but also just shows the, the great need that's around. I started at a, this kind of thing a few years ago and it just it's just a wonderful thing to be able to give my time and help other people that need the help. You know, I, I just I originally started it to be able to, I guess, um, have something that felt like, like I could give back to the community, but it's such a rewarding thing and you meet some beautiful people along the way, so it's been really fun. Yeah. Every donation that we get, we are very grateful for because it really has come in handy and it has put food on the table for others as well. And we just want to say thank you very much. We show love through our actions, not just words. And people, they need that, especially the most vulnerable. You find a lot of people have been hurt, they've been traumatised. And just to see that somebody loves them is really like a big boost, it's very uplifting. In this season currently, especially as we go through COVID, I think a number of people are feeling very isolated and alone. The partnerships that we create and the things that we're able to provide just really creates some level of connection in this new lifestyle that we live that promotes love. And you know, love has to look like something, right? and it definitely looks like this partnership and what happens here through the Shire Salvos. I think the greatest need is loneliness. So when we were able to have a drop-in centre here and people could just come and go, they just loved all the connection. We used to have a sit-down meal here every week. They're missing that. So I think it's really important in every interaction that it's not a transaction, it's actually a conversation. And then that allows people to share what's happening for them and perhaps we might be able to refer them somewhere or get them other assistance other than just food.